Okay, it's board book time again. So welcome back friends. I love working in this board book. So today we're gonna to do another one. I'm going to use some of the patchwork prints that I did that you might have seen the, in the last video. So we're gonna use them in here and um, let's get started. So I always start by sanding the page. And that is because this is a very glossy book. It's one of those like, you know, high gloss books. So I sand it to give it some tooth. And then I put on some just one coat of white gesso. We're going to be gluing on top of all of this and covering everything. So we really don't need two coats. So one coat should do it. I wipe off the excess after I sand. And then I just put one coat of gesso. So these are some of the papers that I want to use in this little board book. I really love this this page right here. So I don't know, actually as a spread to start with might be beautiful as well. But I also love all these stripes over here to go to go with that. And also a lot of this lacing that happened a little more neutral in here. So I don't know if some of this I might use torn on top of of these and what I might do is use you know half of this and half of this so I, I'm not really sure we're gonna cut them a little bit and then see I love I love how these wrinkles show these other colors underneath and that there was this lacing that happened here and it showed that blue underneath so but I might tear into this and use part of this in combination with this. And then I must have some dark transparent papers. So there's even a little bit of that might be good. Um, I love, this is a Payne's Gray. It's not black. So it might go beautifully with that. I love this big shape. We could see through it. So this this might be a possibility, but I also have some black papers that are transparent that I might want to use. This one I might tear up. This is also so bottom papers are possibly one of these. Okay, it's definitely, definitely these two right here. And these might be torn up as well. So let's see. Yeah, I think I want from this part over. I'm going to overlap it onto the other board, but I'm not going to use this piece here. So we will cut. I like this piece up here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go from the top down. All right, let's start there. Okay. So I had to take a phone call. <laughs> All right, let's see. I didn't realize I was running low of gel medium. I'm going to just cover the entire left hand side with this one all right starting from the top I'm gonna grab my catalyst so the thing that i love about the deli paper is uh, also not only how, you know, I love that it's thin, 
quite strong. So like I don't have to worry about it tearing. I could use my colorless wedge on it, but it really like just clings to this board. And anyway, I will trim off the edge in a little bit, but let's, um, let's move on. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put part of this. So like right about here, maybe where that color shift is, maybe that's what I will. Oh no, maybe I will, since you could see through this a little bit, see how you see, mm. So you can see through the paper. So it's still transparent. I'm going to line up where the, where this color shift is happening. So I'm going to be cutting like around, around here. Let's see. I think that's going to work. Okay. And we might again, well, I might go, I might lose a little bit of this up here. So you can see through this under here. So I'm looking to see if maybe, let's see how some of this might look showing through. Hmm. Yeah, well, maybe you're not going to see enough of it. Let's see if the no, because I I put paint on the back of this one, so it's not really showing. So I might have to save these for another another collage. But I love this paper, and I think it kind of kind of goes. But anyway, so this is going to be very simple because the majority these papers is filling the background and then maybe what we can do I might I might make this a very simple collage Possibly, but I have other papers as well that are transparent. Definitely like to incorporate transparent papers. I love these fine lines against these, these curvy fine lines against these rigid um, horizontal and vertical lines. It's kind of interesting. So let's see, this is also, let's just randomly cut. I love my torn. But we might need more contrast. I like that. It's just very simple. But then I might want to do something with like a mesh. I'm not really sure. No. All right. Where's that paper that has, here's the one that has the blue.
So I like how it's like introducing Yeah, that, I think that's better. Just this little, let me put it higher like that. And then maybe we go point to point or something like that. All right. I'm kind of liking this so far. So let's start to glue down some more things. Let, let's start with this other paper here. And we'll try to remember how this goes. So you have to be kind of generous with the gel medium. You don't want to be too stingy. And you have your catalyst wedge or, or some other kind. You could use a credit card or whatever. Um, to really burnish it down well. So you have no wrinkles. Okay. I'm definitely putting this one in where it is right here before I forget how I want to position this. Wow, yeah, I like that a lot. <clears throat> I'm going to stick this here. And see how you can see right through that? I might want to cover this up with something. Okay, this is now going to go up here. And I love how this kind of looks. Just, that was an accident. These things happen all the time, these little accidents that just sort of work. Who knew that that was going to work that well? Okay, so now on this side we have this one. And I'm just going to have it go off the bottom and off to the side. Then what I might do is let it all dry, trim it up, and then we'll take a look and see what else we need because... Something else might be needed. But until we have it all trimmed up, we can't really see our composition too well. So, and I might want to use like some more of, of this kind of paper somewhere. I don't know. This side's very busy. So I might just leave this the way it is. But let's take a look. Let's let's wait for it to dry. See if we want to incorporate something to hide those little white white spots. Okay, so something happened here where the paper rolled and it glued itself to the other side. I think I'm going to have to just go with it. It doesn't really bother me. So I'm going to let it be permanent. It doesn't ruin this side, so I'm going to just leave it. Okay. So this is what we have so far. 
and I'm not so sure we need anything else, but I might want to fix a little something somewhere. I don't think I want to use the black, so I'm going to look for this pa this kind of paper. Something from from here. Mm. Yeah. So now some of this, I might need something simpler and redder. Or do I want to come in from, no, I was seeing that. I'm thinking this, this green line here should maybe line up some with some of those lines behind it and I like yeah the other thing that I like is the one two three with the red, with the red. I'm not so sure. I need all of that. I like this peeking through here. All right, so that's, that's good. I'm going to put that down. Okay, I'm going to keep that kind of on the line. And you can still see through here. See that? Love deli paper. So almost everything here is showing some transparency. I love how you see all of this through here and here. I love how you see it in here. I love it here. But wow, this area right in here is beautiful. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything more. That is going to be it. I'm going to trim off that edge. And that does it for me. See a little more clearly now with all that, without all those papers everywhere. Now let's see if we can just trim this this way. Probably not a good idea. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so that was a really easy one because these papers were so complex. I used fewer papers in this in this particular layout, and I just love the way it came out. So here we go. 
I love it. I love a lot of the detail on here. I only have mm, three more spreads left. So, and then I have to, I have to do some repair. So maybe I'll make a, a video on how I repair this. I, th I think I have some ideas. Anyway, don't forget to create, inspire, and share, and I'll see you next time. Go buy a board book. Bye-bye. So if you want to see some more board books, here's a couple right here.